Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the Buddha Fruit reach max level. But before that, guys, you can show your support by using Star Called Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. When the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, that's your slam! That's the dump! For everyone who asked for this video, here it is Buddha Fruit level 1 to max. And for our warm up, we're gonna start with the bandits. Again, you can lure 5 at a time. Use your combat, left clicks, and that's it guys. Very easy. We're gonna leave this area at level 10. Next area is the jungle. Guys, for those asking, Gamer Nom, you're not doing the fountain strap. Guys, the developers removed it. No! No! Back to the jungle, we're gonna start with the monkeys. Our goal here is to reach level 15. All you need to do is just finish two quests, monkey quest, and that's it. Level 15, you can defeat the gorillas. You only need to finish this quest once to reach level 20, and after that, you can start defeating the boss in this island, the Gorilla King. Remember this area, you're in the high ground, the Gorilla King cannot damage you, but you can damage him. So there you go. After this, it's your choice. Defeat the gorillas, defeat the Gorilla King, as long as you reach level 30. And after that, Stat check first, melee 64, defense 25, next area is Pirate Village. So here guys, we're gonna start with the pirates, you need to defeat 8 right? No problem during cause they're just near, there you go, just door 4, use your left clicks to defeat them. You're gonna need to do this twice to finish a quest. Your goal here is level 40, after that the brutes. Guys, they're kinda far from the quest giver so be more patient. You only need to level up here for 15 times. As when you reach level 55, you will unlock the boss quest, the buggy quest or bobby quest. Some reminders, guys, with this fruit, it's okay to get hit. You have high defense, you have enough HP to withstand their attacks. You're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 75. And after that, let's do some stat check. 150 melee, defense is 74. Next area is the desert. So here guys, we're gonna focus with the desert officers. So they're located here, you just need to lure 4. Use your left clicks to defeat them. Again, under combat, lure 2, and that's it for the quest. Target level here guys, level 90. For our next island, we got the frozen village. So here is the area where you can buy sky jump, enhancement, and flash tap. So guys, make sure to always equip your enhancement. There you go. First off, Snow Bandits. You can lure 5 at a time. You need to defeat 7 to finish a quest. Defeat them until you reach level 105. Next up guys, we're gonna deal with the Yeti. This boss is almost the same with the Gorilla King. The only difference is there is no high ground here. But don't worry guys, you just need to create distance, use your combat, you have long range, and that's it. We're gonna level up here until 130. After that, Marine Fortress. We're going straight with the boss, Vice Admiral. Guys, you can do the wall strat here, or you can fight him mano a mano. Just dodge to the side, everything will be fine. Guys, again, don't mind if you get hit. That is normal because, again, we're using combat or fight style, okay? Normally, you're gonna go in the Skyland at level 150. But guys, we're gonna skip that grinding area and we're gonna focus here until you reach level 220. So after that, stat check, 450 melee, 209 defense. Next area, the prison. Okay, so I have three mini bosses here. First is the warden. So guys, you can do the wall strat here. With this strategy, he cannot damage you. So easy grinding in this part. At 230, you will unlock the second boss, and that is Chief Warden. Again, the wall strat will work, so we can now defeat two bosses easily. Last one at 240 is this one. Again, same strategy too. Don't worry about the damage. You'll be fine as long as you follow my stats. So at level 350, we're gonna leave this area. We're gonna go straight to the Magma Village. So here, the boss is Magma Admiral. Amernum, is there a wall strat? No wall strat, but you only need to dodge this skill. That one, guys. So attack, attack with your left clicks and dodge to the side, and that's it. By the way, if you notice, starting from Yeti, until our last boss in the first C, we're gonna do server hop. At 425, stat check first, melee is 785, defense 489. Next area, underwater city. The boss here is Fishman Lord, again, server hop. This is how you defeat him. Just lure him here. It's the same with the Warden, the Chief Warden, this one. This boss cannot hit you here, so grinding is a lot easier. There you go. So the goal is to reach level 500, and after that, next area, the Skylands. We're gonna go a step higher. In the upper sky, we're gonna start defeating the Whisper. So we can do the rock strat. Go, just go on top of this rock. There is a slight chance that he will damage you occasionally, and that's it, guys. So it's very easy to defeat. Left clicks here, and that's it. Target level here, 575. Okay, 
their goal. So after that, Under God is our target. Guys, remember how we defeated Magma Admiral? So same with that. Use your left clicks, dodge to the side to dodge his skills, and that's it. We are going to leave this island, level 675, and move on to the Fountain City. Here, we're gonna start defeating the Cyborg. So this is the last mob that you're gonna defeat before we go to the second sea. But guys, are you gonna leave this area at level 700? No. Guys, we're gonna live here at level 725, okay? Again, 725. For the stats, melee is 1,464, defense 710. Now off to the second scene. And we're gonna start with the mercenaries. Just a reminder, make sure to unlock your observation hockey before grinding here, okay? This is a big help because sometimes your enemy has these stun effects that might hinder your grinding. So the goal here is to reach level 750. And after that, you will unlock the boss quest, the first boss in this island, the diamond. So guys, I don't suggest this boss because he's kind of far away and he is kind of tanky. What did you do, gamer gamernom? Guys, I stick with diamond. Wait I did server minute. hop until I reach level 775. Next up, the swan pirates. Guys, this area is easy to grind. You just need to lure 4. Your damage is weak. Just make sure to activate your observation hockey and that's it. Okay, your goal here is to reach level 850. Guys, I'm going to give you another option the next boss is Jeremy you can grind here or stay with the swan pirate so it's your choice if you're gonna ask me I did server hop until I reached level 900 with Jeremy okay technique here is just dodge to the side there you go dodge his skills and that's it at 900 target area is the green zone don't mind the bounty hunters let's focus on grinding next up the marine captains so guys, you're gonna lure 5 in the first set, okay, defeat them. On the second set, you just need to lure 4. You need to defeat 9 to finish the quest. You're gonna need to level up here 25 times. And after that, you can start defeating boss in this island, Fajita or Fujitora. Guys, again, you will get hit. But again guys, I'll remind you, you have lots of HP now. So don't worry, just keep on grinding here, defeat him. Do server hop until you reach level 1000. One more thing. While grinding, if someone wants to try and steal the boss skill, guys, don't worry. As long as you damage him, you will get experience, okay? Just don't die. Okay, so again, at level 1000, next area is the Snow Mountain. Our target here is the Snow Troopers. We're gonna skip the next quest. We're gonna focus here. Lure 4. Use your left clicks. Again, activate your Observation Aki. And that's it. Additional information, this is the island where you can buy the superhuman fight style for those who don't know. We're gonna leave this area at level 1100. Let me show you the stats first. Melee is max at 2300, defense 999. Next area, hot and cold. So here we're gonna start with the lab subordinates. So guys, technique here, just door 4. Defeat them, same with the other mobs. Just a reminder, always turn on your observation hockey. Guys, again, at 1,150, we're gonna defeat the boss in this island, my favorite boss, and that is Smoke Admiral. Guys, you're gonna do server hop here. It's very easy to defeat. Check this out, guys. Just some left clicks. HP is already at half. His damage is kinda low, so grind here is really easy. Again, do server hop until you reach level 1,250. Guys, we got the GTA. Okay, back to grinding. Next island is the Cursed Ship. So first off, the ship deckhands. Guys, lure 4 and do the wall strat. Okay, wall strat here. No damage. So you're gonna grind here until 1,300, guys. This is the area where you can unlock the gold race. And that race is best for Buddha Fruit users. But guys, we're not gonna unlock that in this video. Okay, so at 1,300, next up, the ship stewards. So they're located here. Lure 4. Use your observation hockey, use your combat, left clicks, and that's it. You're gonna leave this area at 1,350. There you go. And again, second to the last island, the Ice Castle. For the first set of mobs, the Arctic Warriors, you need to defeat 8, right? Again, use your left clicks. I hope that you're using Auto Clicker here, because I'm pretty sure that before you even reach max level, you will be needing a new mouse. Okay, guys, so at 1,400, you can now start defeating the boss in this island. The Ice Admiral. So he's located here. Guys, you can do wall strat here. I don't know why I didn't do it. Maybe because you can tank the damage. Yes, we have lots of HP, guys. But if you want to do it, just hide in the chest area in the other room. Lure him and that's it. Okay? You're gonna leave this area at level 1475. Next up, the Forgotten Island. Final enemy is the Tide Keeper. So guys, don't worry even if he summons his Sea King. Again, our HP is enough, our health. So don't worry, as long as you keep on hitting that left click, 
or again, my suggestion, use auto clicker. So guys, you're gonna grind here until you reach level 1,500. And after that, you will get a quest, the Coliseum quest. Final stats before we reach 3rd C, melee 2,300, defense 2,200. Okay, so at the Coliseum, just talk to King Redhead, fight Indra, give him some damage until his HP is half, go to the green zone, and that's it guys. Welcome to the 3rd C. Okay guys, let's continue grinding. First off, the Pirate Millionaires. You're gonna level up 25 times here. Luring 4 will be good. Always turn on your Observation Hockey. Do this twice to finish a quest. Again, we're gonna leave th this area at 1,525. Next up, the Pistol Billionaires. This mob is one of the hardest mobs that you will deal with in the third C. So make sure to be more patient. They have lots of skills. But the good side is you only need to level up 25 times here until 1,550. For that, time to deal with Stone. Oh, he's the mini boss in this island, so here it is. Good thing, no annoying skills to deal with, but make sure to look out for this bounty hunters or those bounty hunters. Guys, again, remember once you damage it, it's okay to leave it. You will still get experience, okay? So, guys, we're gonna level up here until you reach level 1675, but before that, let's awaken our first skill. Guys, this will be fast. There you go. Fast forward, blah blah, thanks for my brother who helped me. A session and that's it. This skill awakened, next area, the Hydra Island. We're gonna go straight to the Island Empress. We're gonna do wall strat here, lure her here, there you go, use your Z skill and left clicks. Guys, you're gonna do server hop, check that damage. Alright, very easy to grind. Again, watch out for bounty hunters. You're gonna grind server hop here until you reach level 1750. Okay, so once you reach that level, next area, the Great Tree. Go straight to the Kilo Admiral. No problem defeating him. As the only issue here is again, there are lots of bounty hunters. I've experienced it firsthand. Let me show it to you guys a clip. So this dude attacked me with the Yoru. I think he's also using Dragon Talon. So I run to the sea. Guys, I'm not here to do PvP, right? I'm just here to grind. Imagine defeating a bounty hunter by just outsmarting him. <laughs> Next grinding area is the Floating Turtle. We're gonna start here with the Forest Pirates. Honestly guys, this is a good grinding area because they're near the quest giver. And you're just gonna need to lure 4. There you go. Use your left clicks and that's it. But I made a mistake here. So I tried to grind here until I reach level 1875. After that, Captain Elephant. Guys, if you don't have a good fighting style, you don't have the goal race, this will be hard. Check my HP, I almost got defeated. So, but I was able to defeat it, and I decided to not grind here. So instead, I just grind with the Mythological Pirates. But guys, this is also hard. This area is hard to grind with, so maybe you should just focus with the Forest Pirates. Anyways, you're gonna live here at level 1900. Next up, the Jungle Pirates. This is a lot easier, this set of mobs. So you're just gonna lure 4 here left clicks to finish it you're gonna level up 25 times here next set of mobs here the musketeer pirates they're a lot easier to defeat don't worry again at level 1925 this is how you lure them one here jump left click left click left click that's it guys you're gonna grind here 50 levels which means you're gonna live here at level 1975 before we leave this area let's do some stat check Melee max, defense max, block fruits 1331. Next area, the haunted castle. Guys, there is a gravestone here where you can pray every night. Okay, every night. You can try this for random stuff. Me, I got levels. Okay, so let's start grinding with the reborn skeletons. No available tips here because they're easy to defeat. Guys, you can grind bones here and spin it for random surprises. Next up, guys, you can also grind the living zombies. Guys, I only suggest these two mobs here. Don't worry. The other mobs are kind of harder to defeat. They have lots of skills. One more thing for those who don't know, this is the area where you can unlock the Dragon Talon and the Hollow Sight. You're gonna level up here until 2075. Stat check, melee defense max, blast fruits 1625. Next island is the Sea of Treats. Final islands, guys. Congratulations to us. Where to start with the Peanut Scouts? You need to defeat eight, guys. This is the best area here. Is there are four mobs here, you can lure them all and defeat them easily, okay? Just keep on grinding here until you reach level 2125. We're gonna skip the other quest because this is the best grinding area. 
next stop at 125, go to Big Mom Island. And the mob that you're gonna defeat is the Ice Cream Chefs. Same guys, you need to defeat four at a time. Again, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna skip the next quest here. We're just gonna grind here, okay? Okay, so defeat four at a time. Do this twice to finish a quest. Guys, you can defeat Big Mom when you reach level 2175. She's located here. But guys, I don't suggest it. You can defeat her, yes. You can defeat her, the Cake Queen. But it will take you some time. And if you're in a hurry, this is not a good idea to grind her. Unless you have friends and you have Robux to summon her. Okay, but still, it's not worth it. So just go back with the Cream Chefs until you reach level 2200. Next up, the Katakuri's place. There you go, Cookie Crafters. They're so near apart, nearer than the first two set of mobs that we defeated. There you go. You're gonna grind here 25 levels or just grind here until max level. But if, if you want more experience, you can defeat the cake guards. They're located here. Guys, but the other mobs here, I don't suggest them. They have skills and this is easier to defeat. And guys, the experience is not that far. So you're gonna grind here until max level. And guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Any suggestions? Do fruit, dragon fruit, gravity fruit? Comment it on the comment section. I will see you on my next grinding video, 1 to max. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!